welcome friends i am kuldeep shavastav and uh, today i am going to start with the lecture one that is origin of soil and this lecture is very very essential and important for the people who are preparing for ssc j and esc basically if i talk about gate examination particularly so in the gate examination this particular like origination of soil is not very much important right and they have even removed it from the syllabus but if i talk about ssc j and engineering services examination aspirants so this is a very very important uh, topic so i will be starting with this and uh, the concept behind it because we have to uh, you know focus on the theory part because the questions will be directly coming from this right uh, there is no uh, something called very tough question frame from this particular part uh, there will be a easy to moderate question only like if you remember the theory, uh, theory so it is going to be very easy for you right so uh, actually uh, i was taking lectures in hindi as well but uh, some people messaged me that they are from uh, south india like uh, they are from karnataka kerala like these states so uh, because of that i shifted uh, my priority language to english only because uh, they also have to understand they are watching the lectures so for that purpose i uh, switched the language so i will be starting with the lecture right now so uh, this is something very uh, you know for the trick purpose i have provided here and uh, for the conceptual purpose i am just giving some you know a very very uh, practical examples right so the first question is that why we are studying soil mechanics right so the thing is that the soil mechanics is you may say that it is very interdisciplinary branch right the people who are from civil engineering branch it is very very essential for them also for the geology people also for the geophysics people also this is equally important right because when you are going to construct your building you know you will be studying uh, rcc design steel design all these things but what about the foundation on which you are going to construct your building that is of utmost important right so what you have to study here that whether the soil is going to take that load which is on which you are going to construct your building right if is it uh, there then you have to proceed further like uh, if i talk about the military vehicle routes like when uh, military vehicle bridges also so there is a proper soil in investigation basically so when you are going to construct a road for the military strategic purpose then you have to construct that road on the basis of soil and geophysical parameter means you have to uh, do the survey up to the depth of 30 meter uh, 50 meter which uh, whichever is uh, more preferable for you and whichever is required right so you have to do the survey and thereafter you can proceed further right so this is very very important because soil is taking ultimate load you are transferring load from you have different phenomena like beams are there columns are there everything is transferring the load ultimately to the part which is the soil foundation right so we need to understand that because that is very very important right i just made the background of it right so uh, the thing is that why uh, the soil is important for us i have just uh, stated and after that how soil is formed the second question i am not going to uh, make this lecture very kind of uh, iit professor's lecture because you are coming to watch this lecture for your specific purpose like you have to make the question so that's what i am going to start with and start uh, with that uh, soil formation right so how the soil will be formed that is the biggest question so just take example of two or three bricks i have just made two bricks right okay so two bricks are there and uh, just imagine that there is a 5 kg iron ball right which is like which can impact very high so uh, the thing is that when it is uh, just suppose from 10 to 15 meter it is uh, made free right so it will be impacting on the brick right so what will happen now the brick is going to be deformed right it is going to be deformed and if the load is more it will be like you know we you say as is like uh, very very uh, 
minute parts will be there you may imagine that if the brick is here and you are you know uh, throwing hammer upon it or throwing some ball upon it so this is going to be uh, you know making some parts right so that kind of scenario is there because the soil is ultimately coming from the rocks just suppose there is a rock rocky surface right i hope it is visible here so uh, it is going to be originate uh, originated from the rock only right so how the rock is going to give you soil that is the most important question so for that purpose i hope that you got this brick concept the people who are in uh, you know uh, very very much interested in uh, building material and construction they will be uh, you know very curious about the bricks property they have i thought i am thinking that they are visualizing everything but here you have to focus on soil part only okay? so the thing is that this is your parent rock right parent rock means on which uh, the rocky surface is there and from that particular source only your soil is going to get originated right so uh, just suppose like i have a stated example here that there is a brick and you are going to throw hammer or throw some uh, iron ball which uh, is of considerable weight which can deform this brick right so uh, that is going to deform this brick and now this brick is going to be like this just, uh, just suppose that this this is now into some parts right so that kind of thing is there for the soil also similar phenomena this is the rock and now i am not going to throw any uh, iron ball or hammer something like that i am just going to visualize what kind of process will be involved in the formation of soil so you may see here that there is a force required basically for the formation what kind of force uh, it may be it may be physical force and it may be a uh, chemical force also chemical force i, I will uh, explain further what is that so physical force means what like uh, there is a gravi gravitational force right that is a physical force so if i talk about gravity like suppose there is a rock and this is uphill and downhill part is there right so when uh, if if any rock is going to be deformed here and uh, just suppose that it delineated from this and this is going down side like that so due to gravity also when it will strike on the ground this is going to get you know uh, cut in some parts right like that so this is the phenomena behind it so physical force is supposed to be gravitational gravitational force or uh, you may say that uh, you know any kind of a storm also there that is also a physical force wind force also you may consider and even water is also considerable amount you can say that uh, hydrological force hydrological force i will explain further and for the chemical uh, this okay uh, for the chemical force uh, i will say that oxidation that is also kind of force that is a phenomena but this is oxidation reduction and then uh, there are certain other phenomena carbonation i hope i uh, made the things clear the gravitational force wind force and then uh, your hydrological force there are certain other forces also so if this parent rock is going to get deformed due to the physical forces so that is your physical weathering right that is your physical weathering and if due to chemical phenomena so that is your chemical weathering and what actually uh, weathering means weathering is basically erosion soil erosion so i may write here also what weathering means weathering is basically soil erosion right so uh, weathering means soil erosion 
not soil erosion, just erosion only, but uh, it is related to soil phenomena. So I will be uh, saying that erosion. So you understand it, right? So physically with physical weathering and chemical weathering. So these are the phenomena. So I hope that you got the concept of weathering, how it will be there, right? So I explained the example of brick. You can take any other example also, like. Uh, uh, in any other example which is very evident right uh, suppose there is a chair right and 150 kilogram people 150 uh, the person who is having 150 kg weight right he sit there and what will happen you may imagine and the chair is very very like uh, having very very low density right so in that case uh, what will happen you may imagine so that kind of the force that person is applying and as the chair is not having enough strength to survive so that get you know deformed so that kind of scenario is there for the rocky surface for the rocky terrain also that if wind will come if water is just suppose if water is uh, you know water is having very very uh, large amount of force basically so for the water uh, you may say that just suppose there, there is a rock, just this, this much a small rock, and uh, you are throwing water uh, from five meter above, right? So what will happen? Slowly, slowly, it is going to, you know, deform that particular uh, rock. And if, uh, as the time proceeds, just imagine that if it's a fifty years, uh, hundred years, so you will not even be able to see whether this rock was right so that kind of force which is i have just uh, written here hydrological force gravitational force all these forces are involved right so now the thing is that so this is your physical weathering this is your chemical weathering so i hope you got the idea how this is going to be proceeded right and this is something which i have written i will be explaining it further in very detail right so i hope you uh, got the point and please note the concept in a very uh, rough language i will be giving the notes also properly so you may write here and what we say to this uh, uh, I hope you heard a term called pedogenesis. Pedogenesis. What does it mean? Pedogenesis means origin of soil. Pedo means soil, right? And genesis means origin. So what we are learning right now, what we are studying right now, that is uh, pedogenesis. We are studying about the origin of soil basically. So uh, we are studying that part. So pedogenesis means origin of soil. This is important for SSC JE purpose. Like they may ask what is pedogenesis. Even it is a part of geography also. So you may uh, study that. So this is pedogenesis and I have explained how weathering will happen. Okay? So uh, that kind of thing is there. And there is a cycle also. Right? I will explain further. I will give me notes don't worry about that uh, just focus on the concept right now what you have to do uh, firstly what will happen uh, there is a rocky surface you may say there is a rock parent rock there is a parent rock right and now this parent rock is going to get some force and after the force what is going to happen? Weathering. This force, this force might be physical or chemical, any kind of force. Okay. Weathering will happen. Now what will happen? After weathering. I have given an example of brick only. When it will get deformed, so after that, this will be collected further. Like deposition will be there. When the soil is generating from the rock, right? So after that, what will happen? that uh, somewhere down the line it will get accumulated so after the accumulation also it will be uh, making some kind of hill 
right? Just a small hill, which is called a pebble. Let me explain this. That there is a rock. Okay. So now, just suppose from this part, this soil is getting deformed due to uh, you know, uh, due to wind force or uh, gravitational force, any any kind of force. And here, the soil is getting accumulated. So firstly, like this. So now here also the similar phenomena will happen. So upheaval will be there. This is called upheaval, right? Upheaval means that accumulation of something uh, up to a uh, uh, considerable level, right? And then after this, what will happen? Uh, you have, you will see the similar phenomena happening. Now from this part also, weathering will happen. Now from this part, weathering will happen. And uh, after weathering, Again, a favor will be there. This phenomena is getting continued basically. So that is a pedogenesis formation of soil. So you have to know the concept basically. This might be asked in engineering services uh, examination because they uh, frame the concepts uh, from the theory part also. So that is the thing. So I explained this. So from the up level, what will happen? Now again, a favor, then weathering, then similar phenomena, okay, sorry, uh, a favor, weathering, it's like you have to repeat it, right, weathering, then I am saying both are the thing, but I just separated it to make you understand, right, so a favor, weathering, then weathering, then a favor, so that kind of concept is going to be repeated, uh, right? And uh, between this weathering and upheaval, like uh, when weathering will happen, so there is a term called transportation, which is required basically. You may understand, I explained from the diagram itself, that transportation is required to uh, make the upheaval, like there should be some source which will be uh, sending like uh, air may be there or uh, water may be there so accumulation is required after transportation the half will be formed right so that is the thing very very basic and conceptual thing so i hope you got the points and uh, if any kind of doubt is there so on the telegram channel you uh, can post your doubt there is a separate doubt group also there and the thing is that i will be uh, firstly putting some questions as a quiz in my telegram group you may join uh, the telegram group if you are taking the lectures properly right so i will be uh, according to the importance of topic i will be giving some quiz like four question five question so that you may get a particular idea that what kind of what sort of questions may be asked from this topic in your competitive exam right so thereafter you may uh, when you will watch the lecture you will be having a very clear idea right that what i have to study so join the telegram channel and do subscribe that channel which is very very essential part uh, that is going to motivate us uh, ultimately so that is the thing and thank you for watching it i will be uploading the further lectures as well. thank you so much